Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Yusuf. Uh, today I'm going to make a special food for the special request from so many people, especially my nephew Merbot and called Abgusht, which is, means the uh, um, lamb stew. Lamb stew is not just a lamb and a water, but it's lots of ingredients into that. This let me tell you a little bit about the history of the Abgusht, which is go back to maybe 14 or 15th century, which the peasants they used to after the daily uh, making a bread in a tanur, then they put all these ingredients in a in a clay pot and they put it for the whatever left in the tanur as a ashes and a hot charcoal. They leave it there, they left it there, and they go to, everybody has to go work in a farm, and by the evening when they come back, the food was ready. So that's the history behind this. These days also, it's a, lots of people using it, especially still in the villages, and a, the daily worker in a bazaar or tea houses, and it still there's a request the same way they used to make. Now today what I'm gonna make it, it might be a little bit different because I do not use all the ingredients that it was used, especially with the tail fat from the lamb, which I don't use it, and also adding a little bit different things on it, uh, and I'm gonna go over it. What the ingredients are is the garbanzo and white beans, which it was soaked overnight and I have a meat here, which is a lamb shank and, and lamb neck. And uh, this is actually is a more than what it's supposed to be uh, because I'm gonna be using it for six, seven people. Now, but originally is about like a, a, about one and a half cups of these both together, uh, the garbanzo and white beans about 700, 750 to at the most one kilogram, which usually was used a lamb uh, leg with a bone and a, and a tail fat. Again, this has enough fat, so I don't have to use that. And using three tomato, two potato, one onion, which is cutting on the top of it. Then I have turmeric, about one and a half teaspoon, one and a half black pepper, uh, one fourth of teaspoon uh, uh, hot pepper or red pepper, one stick of the cinnamon, uh, about one and a half tablespoon salt, two dry lime, and two full tablespoon full of uh, tomato paste. Uh, now there is two or three different times I have to add these ingredients. First, I'm gonna just put the meat itself in the water, let it boil about like a half an hour. Then I take the foam off of that. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of the ingredients to it. And then we, we leave it for another three hours. Then I'm gonna add the rest, which I'm going to show you right now. We go to the pot with the meat itself right now. And I'm gonna put this one right into this. And with the onion only, and I'm gonna add the water. Now, it should be the water, we have to put it the, from the beginning. Put it whatever the water that has to be in the food and we should not add any more later on but if you need it make sure you add the hot water I put the water it was hot already so there is no need to be hot you can put the cold water and just let it boil okay as I said you know after half an hour or so when it's boiling there's lots of foam that you have to take it off of this like this okay. 
Okay, here also is the time that I'm gonna add the spices. Turmeric, black pepper, red pepper, and cinnamon stick. A stick. The beans gonna go in there too at this time. Also, we add the tomatoes at this time and we're gonna let it cook. Uh, I'm gonna reduce the heat a little bit and let them cook for another three hours and we come back for the rest of the ingredients which might be which is uh, potato and tomato paste and salt dry lemon. See you then. Okay, here it's been three hours the, the, since it's been cooking and simmering and it's a time to add the rest of the ingredients. First, I have to take that uh, cinnamon steak out of this, which uh, let me find it and take it out. Here you go. Okay, and have to add the potato exactly the way it is with the skin and put two dry lime have to poke it a little bit few on it and add this also at this time okay and uh, then add the salt then you later on you have to taste it to see if it needed a little bit more or not and it's a time to put tomato paste and now we're gonna let it cook for another hour or so then it's gonna be done and I show you how to serve it now okay we leave it alone for another hour and after that, we come back and take a look at it. Okay, look at it. It's all done. Now we're going to serve it. So I'm going to take this, the whole thing, on the table. Okay, and first. I'm gonna take the broth out. This is the two parts that they eat. First, the pro uh, broth with making the pieces of the bread and put it in there and eat that first with the herbs and a raw onion and then the rest of the ingredients beside this line and the bone. They uh, smash the rest with this tool and eat that separate. Now here what we're gonna do take the broth out actually this is gonna be eaten with the ch your choice of bread Sangak, Lavash, Tuftun, Barbary or whatever or as we do it, it's a pita bread. Okay. This is this is the first part. Take all the all the hard parts, which is the bones out, and also you have to peel the potatoes too and put them back okay as I said this is one part that you know people they usually this is the way they eat it but there are too many people they don't like that they just put it in a separate bowl with a little bit of the meat and beans and uh, tomatoes and potatoes and they eat it like a soup with the uh, bread separately but 
the traditional is this way and mashing the meats and the beans so i'm going to show you that how to is going to turn on after i mash those now this is the second part which they call it gush kuvide which is mean uh, smashing the meats and potato and the beans with this if you don't have this kind of tool you can use a bottle and use the bottom of it and smash this all together and that's they call it gush kuvide Okay, my gushkubide is ready and done. And at this time, I would like to add a little bit of cinnamon and it's my taste that I like that. It's up to you if you want to add it or not. It's not something that everybody does. And uh, also, I forgot to tell you, in traditional way, when they, before they add the bread into the broth, they smash the tail fat separately and add it to the broth then they put the breads and this is also for the people they don't like any of this kind and like it to eat it like this separately like a soup or a stew separately so this is the new way and this is the conclusion of my abgush tonight enjoy it thank you for watching and see you next time